you have definitely seen this rainbow effect on metals, and you probably know that it happens because the metal is exposed to high temperatures. Tempering colors appear when steel or other metals are heated. A thin oxide layer forms on the surface, and depending on the temperature, it refracts light differently. That's why we see a gradient of colors, from light yellow to deep blue. Now let's try to recreate this effect in Substance Painter, step by step. Let's recreate this effect from scratch. Add a fill layer and name it Mask. Turn off all the channels. This layer will be used only for painting the mask. Add a paint effect and place an anchor point on top of it. Next, add a second fill layer that will reproduce the actual effect. You can name it, for example, Color or something else. In the base color, add our mask. Right now, it's black. Let's paint a gradient by selecting Paint on the previous layer. Try to make a smooth transition from black to white. You can use Blur to make it even softer. In the color layer, add a gradient filter. According to this guide, we need to create 10 values. So set the number to 10 and pick the colors one by one. Done. Now we need to distribute these colors evenly along the gradient. Conceptually, divide our gradient into 10 parts, where each tone represents a different metal color. Set their position sequentially, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on. Make sure the first one is 0, and the last one is 1. Done. Now we can paint with this effect. You can also use a procedural texture instead of a paint layer. Just take any texture and add it through a fill into the mask layer, and you'll get this effect. Let's take a look at an example of using tempering colors on a suppressor. This time, I'll use my own smart material, which already has all the color variations set up, along with a few additional handy features. You can find the link to the material in the description below the video. Suppressors tend to overheat in specific areas during prolonged automatic fire, and under extreme stress, they can even get damaged or destroyed. So this is a great way to add some visual variety to your texture. Let's add the smart material to the scene. Enable Custom Mask, then turn on the fill layer inside the color mask. Now we can paint the mask in the layer below. Next, you just need to adjust the opacity to your liking or play around with the blending mode. Smart materials also include a blur function, 
so you can increase or decrease the blur to make the color transition smoother or sharper. You can also tweak the roughness. Just enable the roughness channel in the color layer and move the slider. Let's take a look at another example of using tempering colors. If we increase the contrast of a reference photo, we can notice a heat discoloration effect on the slider that remains after the manufacturing process. It's barely visible, but adding it can make your texture look much more realistic and interesting. Let's recreate this effect in Substance Painter. Add a smart material to the scene. By default, it will display the default patterns that can be switched using the grunge slider. I want to set it up as if we had one specific spot where the overheating started, which then gradually spread across the entire slider. It's more or less ready. You can still play around with opacity and blending modes. You can also add a paint layer and erase the pattern in areas where you don't want it to appear. That's it. We've briefly gone over the tempering colors effect, covered the theory, and created it in practice. Thanks for watching.